hi everyone welcome to code with yusuf channel uh, in this video we will talk about student record keeping system and we will explain the ar diagram for student record keeping system how to save how to keep the record of students if that is in a faculty college or somewhere else to keep the record of students so let's start before starting guys please subscribe our youtube channel uh, the main things in AR diagram, entity relationship diagram are the entities, attributes, and their relationships. And first of all, let's come to the entities that we have in student record keeping system. The first entity with us is exam, the semester, student, subject, department, and faculty. These are the uh, entities which are in AR diagram with us. So let's to the diagram. So it is a diagram I have already made it and just to not waste the time so let's start from student entity okay the student entity has the attributes of ID which is primary key with us and pawn email and name name is a composite attribute with us which has first name middle name and last name and also DOB data fourth and age age is a derived attribute with us because it will be changed by the passage of time or also it will be derived from DOB and the next uh, other one we have department code it is a foreign key which has from department okay so it is a foreign key with us and let's do the relationship of students students has a relationship with exam one to uh, student and exam has money to money relationship so for representing the money to money relationship we should make an associative entity a third entity for them so it is an associative entity with us and it has the attributes of student id exam id and uh, date the student id and exam id are foreign key with us and also primary key with us and the third in attribute is uh, date with us and let's move to the exam at uh, entity the exam entity has the attributes of subject code marks exam id and chance uh, exam id and chance and also subject id these three are primary key with us which are underlined okay and these two are um, foreign key with us subject code and chance these are foreign key with us and let's move to the another uh, entity which is subject with us and the subject has a relationship with ag with exam one to money relationship and the attributes for subject are semester id and subject uh, name and subject code let's move to the another entity which is semester which has a relationship with subject one to money relationship okay and in one semester there are many subjects uh, so let's the attributes of semester semester id and semester name now let's move to the relationship between student and semester uh, sem student and semester has uh, there are many students in a semester and a student must be in a semester and here we need a third associative entity because we need uh, for example uh, the student in uh, which and which date and attendance of the student and this semester and uh, present or absent in these attributes the attributes of attend are with us attendance okay tip uh, present and absent these are derived because we will take them from the attendance and also the semester and the student id these are primary key and foreign keys with us and the third uh, other attribute is date with us and let's move to the student and department relationship which is one to money in a department there are many students and department has attributes of department code department name and faculty id faculty id with us is a foreign key and department code it is a primary key with us uh, let's move to the department and the faculty it is also one to money relationship a faculty has more than one departments and uh, the attributes of faculty are uh, faculty id which is a primary key uh, father name uh, the faculty name sorry and um, established date and uh, art id so these were the entities and attributes and zero relationship if you have liked the video please subscribe our youtube channel and if you have any suggestion please comment down thanks for watching